If I could simplify confidence, I'd say you got to get it from four places. You have to get it from inside yourself. Inside yourself, meaning how you think, just what you feel about yourself. And you don't even have to have a lot of skill yet or anything to have belief in yourself or belief that you can accomplish certain things or you can become a certain type of athlete or player. You just have to have this inner knowing, this feeling coupled with the right inner dialogue that you can be great. That's all you need. It's an, it comes from the internal. The next place you get confidence is in the external. Now, why is this important, the external? It's not a huge part of confidence, but it is a part of confidence. What other people say about you. A coach gives you a compliment. A fellow player gives you a compliment. Your opposition gives you a compliment. Somebody gives you a good look. This is like being peer-reviewed. You bring your game to the court and your peers review your game. And to get feedback on that can boost your confidence. Now, if you're just starting, if you're not very good yet, you have to kind of ignore the externals. Maybe your mom is telling you you're great. Take that, okay? (laughs) But you might not have a lot of people around you in the external world giving you validation yet. That typically comes last, but it is a source of confidence. It really is to, you know, uh, go to a tryout and the coach picks you. That's a source of confidence. It's a small source of confidence, but it's a source of confidence nonetheless. You have internal, external. And next you have below. Internal, external, and below. Below is all the reps you put in, all the work you put in. It's your foundation. It takes these internal beliefs you have about yourself, right? That you're great, that you can accomplish things, and it grounds it. Your reps ground your confidence. It's like a granite foundation for belief in yourself. So you have internal, external, and below, and the last source of confidence for me is above. And for a lot of athletes, this is the case, that God is with you, the Holy Spirit is with you, that's something beyond you is guiding you. Now, if you don't believe in God, you can just think my collective unconscious, my unconscious mind, my subconscious mind. If you're a believer, you think you have confidence because God created you and God is on your side. If your enemy is against you, but God is for you, who can stop you, right? That's a source of confidence as well. When you think about confidence, you want it 360 degrees around you as well as inside of you. It's part of your thoughts. It's part of the way you work. It's part of your belief in a higher power that's guiding you. And when you have those three, the above, the below, and the internal, you'll start to get more external uh, aids to your confidence. This is Dylan with BasketballBrain.com. Please like and subscribe. And check out boingvert.com as well for my vertical jump program. Boingvert Hummingbird is coming out at the end of the month. It's awesome. You, It'll blow your mind. Boingvert Hummingbird will blow your mind. Peace.